India is endowed with the largest bamboo forests in the world. Rural and tribal life in India is deeply etched by bamboo and its enormous gifts. A villager and tribal encounters bamboo at every step and in every walk of life. There are more than 5 million artisans engaged with bamboo and crafting multifarious products and utilities for daily use and for the markets known to them. The basic tools of the artisan as he works on bamboo and with bamboo are generally the same everywhere. Hands, feet and fingers along with a basic knife known by different names Dab, Dau, Kati and with Ammu to facilitate the entry of Patti into the weave. The dexterity of the artisan amazes in its simplicity as it has yielded for centuries an enormous variety of articles and materials of household, social and economic use. It is humbling to know that bamboo has nearly 2000 known uses. There are first the large uses like bridges, bullock carts, fencing, scaffolding and ladders, gates and stiles and even windmills. Then the well-known uses in housing and construction bamboo weave walls, infills, roofing tiles, room dividers and doors and windows. A range of household items like fence, baskets, mugs, chicken coops, cooking vessels, cutlery, grain containers, headgear, winnowers, furniture etc. Not to mention the ubiquitous flute and the bamboo cradle. There is a rich tradition of using bamboo lion looms for producing mats with the weft of bamboo split in a cotton or rayon bark. Fans, lampshades, handbags and trays are among the numerous items made from these mats. Mats made from flattened bamboo and splits are used in a variety of ways as floor mats, wall hangings and for drying and processing grains. The introduction and success of the bamboo mat board and composite boards industry has revolutionized the demand and need for mats, sliver and waste. Uh, 19th, 20th century, we were doing this. So, we were doing this. We were doing this. We were doing चादा बनाने सीखेगा ठीक हम लोग चादा सीखेगा बोलकर अब ये 3000 सीखेगा बोलकर ठीक हम लोग हर महीना 3000 टिप रहता है अ टिपिकल मैट बोर्ड मैन्युफैक्चरिंग यूनिट विद अ कैपेसिटी ऑफ 250 12 mm बोर्ड्स पर डे रिक्वायर्स नियरली 2500 मैट्स अ डे अ सिमिलर वॉल्यूम ऑफ स्लाइवर वुड बी द इनपुट फॉर अ जनरल बोर्ड्स यूनिट Sliver are best made in a mechanized primary processing plant comprising a range of machines for cutting, splitting of bamboo, knot removal, sliver making. Productivity is greatly enhanced as a result. NNBA is uh, supporting as well as they are giving the machineries, uh, stipend, everything they are giving. The, at that type, we have inducted these missionaries in the field of mat weaving. Thereby, the what is called the output is doubled. That means, uh, formerly if we will give one read to one traditional worker means, they will give approximately uh, 3 to 4 square feet of mat for one read. But now it becomes 8 to 12 square feet from one read. That means doubled or tripled this uh, the output uh, moreover the uh, first uh, first time and all they are getting 60 to uh, 70 rupees per day now they are getting minimum 140 rupees per day the weaving of mats is usually done by hand although there are machines for mat weaving with better productivity the quality of machine made mats is inferior the weaving is usually done at home and mostly by women. 
This generates extra income for the family. Just making the part time. You will go to field while coming, husband will carry one bamboo. And after reaching home, when the wife is cooking, he will just cut the bamboo and after food, they will just start kneading the mat. Uh, within two hours, to finish, to sleep. Mat making activity is best organized in clusters. Particular attention is required to be paid to collection of the finished mats from households. They are combining into transportable lots and intermediate storage. As a result of industrial production of mat boards, there is a burgeoning demand for mats. The NMBA has promoted and set up a number of mat weaving clusters in several states like Kerala and Nagaland. While Nagaland, bamboo is like a wasteless. We don't use some villager to just cut down and burn. Instead of that, now those people are making mat and instead of wasting the uh, materials, they are earning 1500 per month. Training in mat weaving and setting up new mat weaving clusters are immensely viable activities today to provide livelihoods and income in the rural and backward regions.